Hey, welcome to our room, guys. Come on in. Hustling from the call the police on when I was just trying to make some money to feed my daughter. So all my people's in the struggle, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, baby, baby. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock till my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. Remember rapping Duke, the hard, the hard. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the limelight cause I rhyme tight. Time to get paid, blow up like the world trade. Born sinner, the opposite of a winner. Remember when I used to eat sardines? It's Justin back again with another video for you guys and today we're going on an entire room tour So I hope you're excited. I do share this room with my girlfriend So it is a little bit small for two people But we packed this room with a ton of things that are sentimental to us and that have a lot of characters So I really am excited about this video and if you have a tiny space I hope this helps you in some way on how to design it and where to put things. All right, let's get into the video we're gonna go to the back of the door and we have this dream catcher hanging that me and my girlfriend picked up from home goods a couple years back and then right beside that we wanted to bring some greenery into the space but unfortunately instead we turned out to be plant killers it is a lot harder than it looks to take care of a plant especially with just one window in the whole room so if anybody has any ideas on how to bring that back to life please leave them down in the comments we would love to know Right behind that, we have our full length mirror from Home Goods. And then down here, we have an Aztec print ottoman that uh, we had in a previous space and we didn't really know what to do with. So we ended up making it kind of into an end table for our couch. Speaking of our couch, right over here, we have a green suede velvet couch from West Elm. JK, this is from walmart.com. Uh, we wanted one from West Elm, but it was just out of the price budget. So we ended up picking this up for $300 at Walmart. Uh, don't sleep on Walmart, but you can sleep on this couch because it does fold back into a futon in case you have somebody over visiting. And then down here, we have these fluffy furry pillows from Target. But then in front of our couch, we actually have our glass coffee table. I don't remember exactly where we got this from. I'm pretty sure it was Wayfair. And then on top of that, we have a skull tray that we got from Target. I'm really intrigued by skulls. I don't know why. They just aesthetically, they're pleasing to me. So they are all throughout the room and you're gonna see that as we continue. But this one just uh, holds my everyday carries like my wallet, my watch, my glasses, headphones. And then down here, we have a memories book that was a gift from my girlfriend for one of our anniversaries and it just has a ton of pictures from us from over the years. And then we have a candle that we got from Home Goods that smells really good. Uh, we have a geometric sphere and we have faux flowers because obviously we proved to ourselves that we don't know how to take care of real ones. All right guys, and then on this side of the couch, we have another end table that just holds a couple of knickknacks. So we have an ideas pad that I got from Home Goods. This golden skull, which is one of my favorite skulls that I have. Uh, this empty bottle of Stumptown Cold Brew from my last visit to New York City. I thought it looked cool. And then we do have this uh, Long Island Ducks Cup. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am actually from Long Island, born and raised. And so this is from like all the summers going to Ducks games. And I just keep changing there. And then we have this little night light lamp that is good for reading uh, when it's night and like my girlfriend's trying to sleep and I'm over here. And then up here we have magazines. I used to keep my magazines on the coffee table but I found it messed them up and it's like tearing some of them. So this is perfect because it gets them up and out of the way and I don't have to worry about them getting damaged. And then up above the window is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, it is a bison skull. I picked that up from Home Goods a couple years ago and it definitely ties the whole room together in my opinion. Uh, so then on this side of the room, we do have a couple prints on the wall. Uh, we have this one that says, don't overthink it. That actually came with like a package of letters and you could put whatever you want on it. It's like a pegboard type thing. So I put don't overthink it, which I think is a great life lesson that we all could learn to utilize. 
And then to the right of that is uh, the five boroughs of New York City, which I found at HomeGoods and I thought it was really cool being from New York. And then up top, we have a map of the world. Me and my girlfriend love to travel, so we love seeing that and keeping that up there to remind us never to stop traveling. And then down here is my clothing rack. I kind of have a problem, a lot of clothes, a lot of shoes, um, but it's just something I'm really interested in. Right, then moving this way is my desk. I got this desk at uh, Target. And then I have my iMac, which I use to watch YouTube. Uh, listen to Spotify, edit videos for you guys. And then down here we have a couple matchbox cars I've had since I was a kid, a candle, this room spray that smells really good. And then over here uh, we have my Ray-Bans, uh, a cactus that me and my girlfriend named Spike because we were trying to bring in some greenery. He's a lot easier to take care of than that plant over there. Um, and then up here we have um, an outline of the Montauk Lighthouse from the last time I was on Long Island. We have a clock up here I got from Target. It does not work because I just never put batteries in it <laughs> for some reason. And then we have both of these that I got from Urban Outfitters. Uh, this I picked up from Target. I liked the frame and this picture actually came inside of it so I thought that was a really cool print. And then up here we have a uh, random arrow that I picked up from Home Goods one day. And then down here, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it, but it's a really sentimental gift that my girlfriend gave me for one of our anniversaries. It's the actual constellations that were above us the night me and her met, and it has the date and time on there, which is really cool. Here on the left, we have this brown leather chair that I picked up from Home Goods. Uh, this throw blanket, that's just an extra throw blanket for when it gets cold. And we have this little guy that me and my girlfriend picked up from Target one night because we thought it looked a lot like our dog, so we thought that that was funny. And then we have this hook that is actually a bath towel hook uh, that I just use for our keys. And then we have this Atlanta, Georgia pennant that I picked up from Pont City Market. And then up here, we have this bison skull that's really cool that I got from Urban Outfitters. And on him, I just hung a dream catcher my mom sent me and a couple of my chains are hanging on the other horn. And then over here is one of my favorite, favorite pieces of the room. I got this from Urban Outfitters a couple years ago and it's actually wood burning on the sides of it. And it's just a really, really cool mirror. And then attached to that, we have a picture of my girlfriend and me, a couple pictures of me. And then this is a picture my girlfriend drew of our dog. And this is a card that came with a hat that I bought from PNC Co. And I just thought that that print looked really cool. And then down here, we have an old mirror that we used to use and we just put it here for now. And then we have this Adidas pouch. And this is where all my hats currently live. I have a ton of hats. And then for some reason, a random football. <laughs> so then sliding down this way, we have my girlfriend's bearded dragon. His name's Logan. And then right above him, we have this Atlanta, Georgia flag that I really wanted. And I think it's really cool to represent your city. And then on this shelving unit, we have a ton of tiny little knickknacks that really represent me and my girlfriend. I think shelving units are really cool to put on display things that represent who you are as a person. So we have this Polaroid camera because I'm super into photography. A ton of uh, books that me and my girlfriend enjoy. Uh, we're super into the office. So we have this office card game, another skull, uh, Chemex because I'm super into coffee. And then we have these little knickknacks right here, like this graphite skull, um, this Eiffel Tower, and this shot glass for coffee that has a skull on it. Here we have some of my hats hanging because we ran out of space down there. And to be honest with you, we just didn't know what to put in this area. So we just hung some of my hats up. And then over here, we have a couple of prints that me and my girlfriend both picked out together uh, at Home Goods. All of these are from Home Goods. And then this is my girlfriend's uh, clothes and her makeup area. And then coming over here, we have a ton of uh, prints of me and my girlfriend. We made a collage for her dorm room, uh, but she just recently graduated. So this now lives above our bed. So then this is the last part of the room. This is our queen size bed. Uh, everything on the bed, the sheets, the blanket, 
the pillows, everything is from Target except for this one pillow that says thankful on it. It is actually from Home Goods. And then up here on the wall, the last part of the room, we have a mug that has Dwight Schrute from The Office with a ton of his character faces on it. We have uh, a couple of Cowboys memorabilia because I am a huge Dallas Cowboy fan. Uh, we have a New York mug. This is a picture of my girlfriend with her mom as a baby. And then we have a couple of candles that we aren't using at the moment. So that is it for the room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Down below, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you did enjoy it. Also, let us know what's something you would change about our room. Where should we move some things? We're always up for ideas. Or if you don't have one, just let us know what was your favorite part of the room. All right, see you in the next video, guys. Peace. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock till my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. Remember rapping?